Previously on Super Mario Fallout. You ever need a haircut? Just look me up in some place where it's hot and shitty, and you'll find me there most likely. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're pretty much caught up. Hello, welcome to Super Mario Fallout. I'm Kyle. I'm Kira. So, this video is going to be the start of a, a little bit of a, a change in our series. Uh, first of all, we recently completed uh, the New Vegas Bounty series, the Some Guy series, mm -hmm. and uh, it was it was very fun. I did want to point out one thing first. Uh, remember how we were talking about Spartacus within the past few episodes? Yeah. I went back to our old videos, and yes, I was right, sort of. Uh, Spartacus, after leading the slave revolt against the Legion, did betray them. Remember, he betrayed the syndicate, or, or, or he uh, he he. Uh, uh, Betrayed he, his slaves. He flipped. Yeah, he flipped to the syndicate. Yeah. And they ended up killing him right before we went to kill Kay. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, I just realized this K zero time dilemma. Or zero escape. <laughs> Re it's a reference, people. Okay. So anyway, after, uh, after we completed bounties, our plan has been to change things up a bit. And this is the episode where that happens. So... We, up to this point, have completed nearly every major quest mod and uh, every uh, new world space mod that we have come across, or that, that, that we have installed in our super modded game. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time coming. We've been playing this yeah. for like a year or two. two? Uh, it's coming up on two years. Yeah. It's been very fun. The past two years. And those of you that have stuck with us, I really appreciate it. I know we aren't like rolling in the views or anything, but... Uh, you guys make it worth it, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. But, uh, so, our plan right now, with this is Saga 20? I don't know. It's, it's, you, it's, you keep it's track season of it. 20. You keep track it's, of the it's numbers. It's season 20. Really? Yes. Oh my god. Our plan is that we're going to go back and do every faction and every companion quest. We're focusing on basically the things that affect the ending of the game. But we're going to do more than just the main game, of course. We're going to be doing modded stuff. Modded factions. Modded companions. Mm -hmm. And we do have a short quest mod series that we're going to start this off with before we really get deep in the, in the factions. Yeah. But that's how it's going to go. We're going to, we have a list of things, of, uh, of things we're going to prioritize. Which factions, which companions. At any given time, this is how it's going to work. We will have five companions with us. Mm-hmm. The majority of those companions are going to be related to the quests we're trying to do. Some companions, like Boone, for example, we're going to need to keep with us for a long time. Mm -hmm. We still have those death claws, for example. We didn't actually finish them. They may be an adult stage, but we still got a little bit more to go. So we're going to have to keep those with us, too. Okay. We're going to cycle out companions as we complete their quests. All right. So that means that out of these five companions, more often than not, four of the slots will be taken of companions that we are specifically trying to advance their quests, even if uh, it's still a long ways away from completion. Yeah. As we have companions, we're going to talk to them and exhaust their dialogue, or as long as we haven't heard it too recently or went over it too much in depth. We might repeat some dialogue from characters that we just kind of asked them questions when we got them and didn't really pay attention to the answers. Mm -hmm. This is mostly because a lot of the companions, we didn't exhaust their dialogue because when we originally got them, we were really more focused on trying to play the main story of the game. Yeah. And we might need refreshers on their quests and stuff, so. Exactly. So, what about that fifth character? Well, we thought we'd do something to make it a little bit exciting. We thought... The fifth character will be determined by a random number generator every episode. That sounds awesome. I would like to do it to a vote, but we don't have enough viewers for that. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, just gonna, we're gonna do a random number generator. So and and every time we do it, we're gonna cross that character off the list until we've done all of the all of our companions. Mm-hmm. Okay. So for this episode, we ran a random number generator. Next episode, we'll do it again, and it won't be the the person we had this episode. Okay. Um, and then obviously we can't do it if we're already going to be doing that character's companion quest. Yeah. So, yeah, that pretty much brings you guys up to speed. That's how we're going to be doing this. Uh, we think it's going to add some kind of uh, levity, some fun to the situation, so we won't be bringing around the same companions the whole time. Yeah. 
And yeah, it will enable us to uh, actually play with some of the companions that we haven't been able to play with for a long time. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yep. And so, so we're going to start the game. We'll ask our companions some questions, the ones we have with us, just to see what they say. Uh, refresh ourselves on. Then we'll get into this first quest that we've been talking about. It's not voiced, so so there is that. But it is supposed to give a little bit of backstory to who the courier was. That's the main reason why we wanted to start off with this before we did the factions, because ultimately these factions and these companions are going to lead up to the final battle of Hoover Dam, even if that will be probably a ways off. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything you want to add to that, Kira? Uh, which fifth companion are we doing this episode? You will find out. Oh, okay. Today in Super Modded Fallout. Oh, wait, wait. We have to turn the volume up. Oh, yeah. For some reason, the uh, main title screen volume normalizes. It's always extremely loud. Yeah. You might be able to tell that on the very first episode mm -hmm. when we discovered that the hard way. Yeah. Wow, it took me six minutes to do all that talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, we fixed the thing with Willow last episode. So, yeah, that, that's done for her. So we're done with most of her quests except for the gecko stuff. Yeah. Uh, for those that don't know, that means we decorated the bungalow with all the stuff we've been collecting for her. Yeah, it turns out we were just missing the button. Yeah. All right, so we're ready to start that next quest, but let's okay. uh, let's go over our companions first. Okay. Sergeant Crockers was the lucky winner. All right, cool. From Rockwell Pursuit. Okay. So yeah, let's go. Uh, let's. Wait, where's? Oh, there's our other one. I was wondering where. Okay, so let's feed you. Strange meat. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh. Do we have meat? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's, uh, who you want to talk to first? Uh, let's talk to Lily. Okay, crap, it's getting dark fast. Hello again, dear. So yeah, so Lily's quest is one we still need to do. All right. Ah, uh, she doesn't have many questions. I guess let's just ask her the one we can. What do you do in Jacobstown? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. All right. Let's wait. It says we have questions to ask her. Oh, oh wait, I didn't see it. Hello. Yeah, I have some questions oh, to ask you. I completely overlooked that. Oh, um, what's the best way for me to use your skills? Isn't that sweet of you to fret about me? Such a good girl. I can always help you stay hidden from the bad people so you won't get in trouble. I don't mind fighting, especially to protect you, dearie, but I don't like guns. Give me a good chopper, and Leo and I will go right to work. Yeah! So, did, you know, what? Did you give her a gun? Yeah, but she also has a melee weapon. I, I, I usually give our companions both. Okay. But, um, you know, like most Nightkin, she is, uh, you know, she is, uh, multiple personality disorder. Mm -hmm. uh, we did already ask her these, so do you want to go over them? or Just who is Leo, just that one. Leo is a very bad man, Pumpkin. Yes, you are, Leo. Don't try to deny it. He tells me to do things, terrible things, and sometimes the medicine isn't enough to keep him quiet. But there's no one there. Well, of course there is, dearie. How else could I hear him tell me who to chop? Okay. So Leo is a manifestation of her darker side as a as a nightkin, as well as the husband she used to have. Okay. Let's try. Actually, let's try this one if you don't mind. Okay. What kind of medicine are you taking? Doctor Henry calls them antipsychotics. I don't know what they're supposed to do. They just make my memory fuzzy. All right, so I guess that's good for her. Mm-hmm. Let me just check, make sure we did the audio. I'll crank it up one more. All right. So, yep, we'll be keeping her with us till we can do her quest. Whoa. 
<laughs> Whoa. Oh, hey. Hug Muffins is growing up. Which one you want to say? Um, you're you're really growing up now. Seems aware that you are talking to it at least. <laughs> oh, let's oh. offer him some food. Hug Muffins is an alpha male now. Yay! Cool. Cool. Nice. We'll be able to distinguish him between. <gasps> oh. Okay. Awesome. Hug Muffins will feed itself. Well, crap. What are we going to do with our 20 rat meat and our 10 dog meat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Boone. What is it? Wait, hold on. Let's get some better lighting going on. Eh. Eh. Whatever. What is it? Okay. Um. No, we, are, we already did all this. He has a lot of dialogue. Oh, here's some questions we never asked him. Let's do these. Okay. Does the name Benny mean anything to you? Oh, wait. Oh, by the way, just a refresher before we do this. Boone was a former first recon sniper that we befriended. Uh, we killed the person that killed his wife. Remember in Novak? Sold her to slavery. You, you, well, she's basically dead. Yeah. Uh, with, with his child. Mm-hmm. And um, what else? Oh, yeah. He participated in the Bitter Springs Massacre and is horribly scarred by it. Oh, yeah. Okay. You just say it again. Does the name Benny mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about New Vegas? It's NCR land for the most part. We tamed it. Now we're settling it. A lot of people complain about it, but they forget what it was like before we showed up. It's a lot of territory to secure. Too much, even for a big army like the NCRs. How do you feel about the NCR? Coming east was about securing the land so people could live without fear. It's not always that simple, but I think the cause is still right. And God help us if they lose. Fair enough. Any thoughts about Caesar's Legion? Yeah, lots of thoughts. All about the best ways to kill him. Okay. Um, hmm. I think that's about it. Yeah, well, okay, we could pursue this Manny Vargas line, but... Oh, okay, here. So, yeah, let's just, just go through it, yeah. How do you feel about Manny Vargas? He was a good spotter. Weren't you also friends? Yeah, we were. Not anymore? When Carla went missing, he was the first person I told. He tried to hide it, but I could tell right away. He was glad. Why was he glad? I guess he, that's not an option for us to ask. But but why would he be glad that she was missing? I think, remember, he was suspicious of everyone in Novak. He didn't know who it was. Okay, I guess. Uh, what outfit did you serve in the military with? First NCR recon. It's a sniper battalion. Sees a lot of action. They moved us around a lot. I was stationed at Camp Golf for a while. Last I heard, they're at Camp McCarran. Hmm. How did you happen to join First Recon? They pick you out if you do well at the firing range. Pays a little better, so I said okay. Is that a First Recon beret? Yeah. You can tell by the patch. Bear skull with crossed rifles behind it. Slogan underneath. What's the slogan? The last thing you never see. Pretty accurate. And so are we. Burn! <laughs> what was Camp Golf like? It was on the front line for a while. Only resort in New Vegas no one wanted to get sent to. Doesn't have that kind of importance anymore, though. They pulled most of the troops out of there after we took the Hoover Dam. Tell me about Camp McCarran. Was an airport before the war. Command liked it because it was already fortified, and it let them keep an eye on the Strip. They've got an old monorail that still runs between them, used mostly for supplies and deployment. But if you get leave, you're allowed to go gamble. It was General Oliver's post, but I heard he's been up at the dam a lot lately. Guessing Colonel Shu is running it. Actually, that is not a coincidence. One of the things Mr. House stipulated in the NCR New Vegas uh, peace treaty was that the NCR must allow their soldiers to visit the Strip. Oh, really? Because... 
The NCR is a ton of soldiers, and Mr. House wanted all that revenue. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> what do you think of General Oliver? Didn't know him. He's a signature on my discharge papers. Wasn't real popular, though. Even overheard my CO complain about him once. General Wait and See, he called him. Oh, yeah, he's he's an idiot. He's just as bad as Kimball. Hmm. Do you know Cur- Colonel Sue at all? Yeah. He introduced himself to me once. I shook his hand. Doubt he remembered me now, though. When he looked at you, you could see he understood. After some of the things we'd seen, that meant something. But I heard he'd be a general right now if Oliver didn't know the president. The dam? The big one. The one the NCR is trying to hold on to, that the Legion's pushing for. Whole war depends on holding it. Okay. Cool. Um, let's just see if there's any other questions. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's the best way for me to use your skills? Give me a rifle and a clear line of sight, and I'll start picking them off before they've even seen me. Didn't have much hand-to-hand training, so our chances are better if you keep the enemy out of my face. I'm trained as a spotter, too. If you're looking through a scope, I can find your targets for you. Oh, that's cool. I never realized that. I don't think you can literally just tell him to shoot people. No, but he's no. he said he was trained as a spotter. So if you're looking through the scope, he can find your targets for you. I wonder if he actually says anything if you're looking through a scope. I don't think it does. I think that's just his backstory. It'd be cool if it were true. Maybe okay. we could try it sometime. Oh, wow. We were talking through the night. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So this is where we need to go to start the quest. All right. Oh, wait. Well, I mean, there is Charger Crocker, yep. but he doesn't have any dialogue. Yeah. So we've already done all his. So this is where we need to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Some dead fiends. Some women with guns. Power suit armor. Okay. Radiation rifle. <gasps> Bobblehead. Oh, cool. Okay, you know how sometimes a lot of people will put unique items in the same place? Yeah. I think this is a situation like that. Yeah. Oh, which one is this? Survival. Nice. Mm -hmm. Not that it matters, but okay. And a unique slicer? Or thingy? Chopper? Oh, hey! Oh, don't you worry about me, dearie. Your grandma knows how to stay quiet. The Grapes of Wrath. And also, football. unique football NES game. I don't know if that's unique or not. I think that's just the brand name. Oh, Legion Wixelarius armor. We don't need that. Yeah. Although I wonder what it's doing in their closet. Uh, we can check the other girl's body. You mean the fiends? No, there was Jasmine and... Uh, and fiends. No, there's another girl. No, fiends. Oh, really? Yes. Huh. Jasmine and fiends. Oh. And cosmic soda. Okay, well then how do we start the quest? Hey, friend, pull up a chair and chat with me. I'm feeling happy. How about you? Let's see the one with the open mouth because we just discovered all these dead so, bodies. Surprised. Yeah. Remember, you're, you you voice our character. Okay. Surprised. Yeah. That's not that's not. A I'm surprise feeling sound. surprised. You're supposed to go. <gasps> okay, just click on the face. Voice our character. Click on G- the voice face. Voice our character. Voice it. On voice, it. voice it. I'm not voicing an emoticon. Me. <laughs> I know. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> okay. We have to pick a different one. Okay. Um. Frowny face. I'm not hearing frowning. I, how do you make a noise for sad? Mm. Okay. Just click the emoticon. Harder than the bleep up. Uh, oh my god. 
How hard did the fuck up that? Can't believe it said that to us. Okay, straight line face. You're no fun. Okay, happy face. Yay. Yay. That's more like it. Interesting scene, isn't it? She's not from around here. Her name is, or rather was, Jasmine. Her death was not pleasant. 10 9mm slugs in total. It looks like she was on the run. From who? And why? I was watching when it happened. In fact, I can tell you much, much more if you're willing to learn. Uh, so you see how this is going? This is so weird. Yeah, and I knew it was different, and like I said, it's not voiced, but I think this was gonna, it will be some fun for us. Okay, tell me more about Jasmine. Oh, and it will involve a lot of reading, unfortunately. We usually skim over stuff, but we can't afford to do that with this mod. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to be quick. Jasmine was headed south along I-15. Some fiends caught wind of her near New Vegas and started to follow her. They tracked her here, but it was not them who killed her. They were dead when the murderer got here. The killer is a marauder of ill fame, a brutal villain with evil intent, a man as clever as he is agile. He took something from Jasmine after she died by his hand. That stolen article is the key to who Jasmine was and why she had traveled so far. The murderer's name is Harper. He has a shack north of here, not far from Deathwind Cavern. Perhaps if you were to retrieve the stolen article from Harper, you could bring some justice to poor Jasmine. Who the hell are you? Let's make a bet. If you can prove you got what it takes, you can come meet me at my place where we can talk about the grander scheme. Okay, well, I guess... Oh, hey, we got some notes from that. A Emotitron. Emotitron. All right. Let's go figure stuff out. So what do you think? What do you think? What do you this think? is really unique, I and I like it. I definitely think so. This mod is old. was made a while ago, but I, I literally just got it because it fills in our courier's backstory because we got so little of that. Mm -hmm. I, I really like piecing together what little bits we have. It, it's amazing. I think it's really unique the way it does it. Like, remember when we had to talk on the terminal in Autumn Leaves? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It brings back that kind of feeling, except it's like, it's like really in depth because he actually talks to us instead of the terminal, which like got angry at us and like wouldn't speak to us for whatever reason. Yeah. I remember, we theorized that that was uh, the. Uh the, the human of the library, a residual of him. Oh, yeah. Because we never got an answer to that question. Oh, yeah, we didn't. We never found out who was at the terminal. Yeah, but that's, 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 that was my theory, and I think yours. Mm-hmm. Okay. No quest markers. Well, shit. That's why we have to read everything. Well, shit. It said north by, um, by that cavern. I forget the name. Let's check, let's check the note. Death by Deathwing Cavern. Yeah. Harper Shack. Harper Shack. Where? It's oh. right there. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Deadwind Cavern was just a reference point. Okay. Do we have a sniper rifle on right now? Uh, actually, no. No, we don't. Oh, dang. We, yeah, we completely redid our weapon loadout. Oh, we forgot we uh, also changed our armor. Mm hmm We actually have just a more armored version of the Klamath armor. I think we got this when we completed Willow's thing. Oh, it just, yeah. I, I don't know where we... I, I just saw it in my inventory. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't know where most of the stuff we have came from. Over here. Guys, you killed him, like, right away. Well, I think he was hostile, or they wouldn't have killed him. We got his key, at least. Okay. You want to check out some of these unique weapons we got? Sure. Actually, let's do it at the end of the episode. Remind me, okay? Okay. <gasps> oh, yay! NES controller. To go with the console. Wait, is that is that a power cord on the desk there? What What is that square thing? Or rectangle. Conductor. Oh, okay. That's cool, though. Oh, my God. Aha. Safe. Very hard. 
I think we got the key. Oh, no, it would have said use key. Well, let's finish exploring. We'll go back to that. Yeah. Because there has to be... Oh, there's another computer here. What does it say? Hold on, let me just explore. Oh. Oh, we're going to have to unencrypt her journal. That sounds interesting. Ah, uh, just a farming rifle. Wait, on the bottom there was what was that? Oh, the books. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, let's have a talk. Oh yeah, he's here too. Hey friend, did you deal with Harper? That guy creeps me out. <gasps> <sighs> Harper is dead. Good. I really didn't like that guy. Did you happen to find anything interesting in his footlocker? Perhaps there is something there that could tell you about Jasmine. Yay. Are you really going to make those noises for the emoticons? Yes. Okay. It's called getting into character. Okay. I wish someone else would do it. Huh? I wish someone else would get into character. Decrypt P93 function ID journal. Error 445, proprietary format, encryption re return to Emotron, or return ID Emotron. Sorry, my friend, I can't decrypt this holotape. It's encrypted under a special operating system that I can't read. Aww. The base coding appears to be some sort of pre-war military encoding. Hmm, where have I seen this code before? I think I remember seeing something in some of the Nellis Air Force Base data transmitted to Searchlight Airport just before the bombs fell. I also recall receiving data from Black Mountain around the same time that had similar encryption. It's a good bet you will find the hardware necessary to decode this journal in one of those locations. See if you can decode it, and I'll meet up with you later. Okay, that is really, really cool. What? The communicating through a computer? Yeah. For Fallout? That's amazing. Yeah, I like how... The, I mean, it's a, it's a little just kind of... Uh, I mean, you, you might say, like, oh, they just did it within the system that was here as a bad thing, but you can also see that as a really uh, kind of cool and creative way to use it. It is really creative way to use it, because usually we just get old notes before the war and stuff like that. Ah, we got so many know? unique weapons already. <laughs> we'll and, check them out at the end. Yeah. And using those terminals for a quest as a character is, like, really, really cool. <laughs> like. Should I go over the weapons we brought with us? Uh, sure. I thought maybe of teasing them out instead of giving them away all at once. I don't know. What do you think? Eh, that's fine. Okay. So that'd be cooler, actually. All right. Well, this is a unique pistol we got a while back. Energy pistol. And we modded it out. It's yep. called the Static Bomb Pistol. Okay. Cool. It loves bullets. Oh, my. Awesome. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Wait. Don't. Okay. I guess we're going to fight people now. <laughs> or, or not. Sergeant Crocker's gave up. Oh, holy crap. Vipers. A bunch of vipers. Oh, well. Let's get them while we can. Mm-hmm. Try a different weapon. Yeah. Come on. Let me, let me do it. It's not letting me do it. You know something I never realized? Do what? We, do we have a toggle for the compass? No, why? Because I don't... Oh, oh, I see. Ugh. Sorry, I just got conf extremely confused. I don't get it. Because I thought the compass was at the top of the screen, so I didn't see it. I didn't realize it was under our health bar this entire time. So you've been playing a different game entirely, have you? Yeah, Skyrim. Please. <laughs> uh, well, I know they said Nellis Air Force Base, but is there any more specific direction than that? Uh, n well, it said we could also d go to Black Mountain. Okay, let me let me go read it again. No, all we have to do is go to Nellis Air Force Base. Nellis and find Air Force a Base is literally the largest location in the game. <laughs> Well, we look for offices to find a computer there. But there's so many buildings. We gotta find a computer, so look for a place where a computer would be. Come on, let's just try and figure this out ourselves. 
don't like figuring it out. Well, we could go to Black Mountain. That's smaller. Yeah, but there's likely to be super mutants there. There won't well, be anyone hostile in Nellis. Well, there won't be anyone hostile in Black Mountain anymore. There might still be super mutants that spawn there. Yeah, but I thought we got rid of Tabitha. But there might still be super mutants that spawn there. Oh, okay, fine. Well, then, yeah, let's stay here at the Air Force Base. I don't think the hangars would work, so let's go into one of the other buildings. Jeez, the textures on the hangars are, like, really, really downgraded. See? Uh, nah, I think oh, they're, they're fading in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why are all the kids outside? <laughs> Uh, the recess, they're playing. <laughs> I, oh, I I heard the funniest thing today. Really? Yeah. This this guy's like, oh, it was my first day and everyone else was picking on me. It's not easy to be, a, a, it's not easy to be a chief justice, you know? Everyone was like, hey, new guy, he doesn't even know when to call order in the court. <laughs> and then they called recess and we all went out to play. <laughs> and then and by a, a friend and he says you know what jimmy i think you'll be do just fine welcome to the united states supreme court wow <laughs> okay where are the doors <laughs> i don't think it's in the hangar i think it would be in one of the other building offices this is why i didn't want to go here we i told you we could get a black man i didn't want to go there either well <laughs> then fit <laughs> you have to pick a place. If we don't find it here in the hangar, it's not my fault. I told you it wouldn't be in here. Well, it was just the door that was right here. Oh, we could keep the notes. Oh, I forgot Willow gave us a whole bunch of her notes. Oh, did she? Yeah, she left it as a present in the mailbox that we installed. Oh. Huh. Maybe we can read them some other time. Oh, these are notes on some of the quests we've done. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Aw. I'm again. We usually skim. Yeah. Oh, I was reorganizing our, our companions, and Deadpan gave us something. Oh, cool. Oh, that's not much. Oh, there we go. Yeah, all his notes on Jasmine. Uh, but not the not the one we want need. Yeah, it's fine. Look, we just have to find a computer that can decrypt her journal. That's our goal. So we just wander around till we find a computer. That's a lot of wasted time wandering around, though. Well, I told you if we look in the offices, we might find one but, more. Uh, that's a guess. It's a guess. Why would there be a computer that sent a signal from the hangar? The hangar is where they worked on the plane. You realize the hangar is where we found an android, right? Like, they, I would expect a computer to be in a military hangar. Okay, well, there isn't one in here. I'm telling you we should look in the offices. The offices are halfway across the map. I'm looking We've shown everyone we are. that these are our new territories. Oh, the remember these guys? Been oh, yeah. Again. Better lay low. Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. They're still together. Oh, yeah, I remember. She was an outsider that he liked. And yeah, and we convinced them to let her in. Yeah, I remember that. That's nice that they're together and happy. Might as well just look here. Okay. I think it's cool how they just gave us a location and not pointing us directly to where it is. I mean, like, I, I've never been against that in its entirety. I just don't like it because I like to get moving. I think they should have given us some type of one. I understand that they don't want to, like, they want to make it challenging, but it's like it's forcing a challenge. And well, I, just, I, I just guess, want to experience but they, the do story. Give, they do give us good info on when he's talking to us ah, everyone out of the way lily come on lily we talked about this remember remember the hoover dam you were in our face the whole time i'm telling you that if it you didn't want to come sense. here we could go to um nope 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 black mountain and nope. they would nope. probably be nope 
a nope. easier to find nope, nope, because nope. there are only a few buildings there. We are already here. It's too late for that. I know. And I told you before we came here. So I told you not- I didn't want to fight super mutants. Okay. and Stop I- y- arguing with me. Okay, fine. Okay, you're, you're having an argumentative tone. Stop it. Okay. Well, where are we going to go now? Go to the buildings like you said. I'm trying to do what you want. Stop giving me crap. Fine. We're recording. People are going to stay. Stop arguing. <laughs> And it's too much of a hassle to cut this out. I don't think anybody cares if we argue. Okay. Well, we don't do it very often. <sighs> Schoolhouse, nah. I don't think it's in there. No. It has to be in a pre-war building. Are you sure? Yeah, because he said the signals came from a pre-war computer. So I would assume that it would be in one of the old offices that they had here. I know they had a storage building somewhere. Women's barracks. Oh, there we go. You think maybe in the workshop? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go check. And if not, then we'll just check these other ones. Mm Mm-hmm. It could be in Pearl's barracks, just because she's the leader. Yeah, oh. yeah. let's go check that next. Okay. Well, I guess if anyone would have a computer, it'd be her. All these buildings have computers in them. Well. I, oh, I mean, not literally all of them, but all of them have the potential. Judging them by their looks does not solve the situation. Okay, fine. Okay. Is this pearls? All right. Oh, there it is. Ah, I see. Except it's marked red. Do you want to see if maybe there's another one? Nope, there isn't. Are you sure? I just looked. There isn't. Oh, okay. You want to freeze her in there? I'll just be stealthy. Okay. Oh, don't you worry about me, dearie. Your grandma knows how to stay quiet. You gave away our location. <laughs> oh, crap. We got to hack this thing. Oh, yay. We did it. Okay. Um. Decoding log? Let's, let's try entering these things. Command sequence. We don't know it. Yeah. Control escape. Okay. Uh, do I have to read this? No, I don't think so. Wait, let's see who wrote it. Ah, oh, it's so long! So much! Doesn't say. And it's not in here anymore. Project Stargazer. Weapon test. Okay. Did we get a note at least so that we can reread that? Okay, yeah. That was, oh, oh, that was yeah. Jasmine's journal that we decrypted it. Okay. Yeah. We probably should read it then. Yeah, we can read it now. Through the Jefferson uh, Memorial. Uh, uh, oh, it's female. her journal. Okay, yeah. yeah, so just try to be quick about it. Okay. There's a Jefferson Memorial to Adams Air Force Base to the pit. The Stargazer has got me through it all. Even Point Lookout saw its awesome power in my hands. Then some twice dang computer sent me on some wild bloat fight. I chased through Delaware looking for some bugger's lost treasure. The Yalgai are so thick up there that I swear I was firing the thing for over an hour. It still had to fall back. Well, that pretty much did in my favorite toy. The targeting module broke down. Two capacitors burnt out. It was heartbreaking. 
drinking and destroyed that inflated sense of self-esteem when it broke down. I couldn't fix it myself, so I took it to Pinkerton in Rivet City. He said he could fix it with his eyes closed. Egotistical bastard. However, he would need some scrap electronics and new laser focus optics, in addition to replacement capacitors and targeting module. He said the targeting module would be tough to find since only a few of them were ever made. Scoured the DC wasteland looking for replacement parts, but no luck. Shrapnel and Rivet City's market mentioned that out west, untold technological marvels still existed, waiting to be found. They also had some good weapon mods out there, so I was told. Elder Lines confirmed the same. So I packed up my rifle, all my caps, and headed west. I decided to keep a record of my journey after the success of the wasteland survival guide in dc i might publish a book based on everything that has happened for three years i went up and down what used to be america i took the long road back to the pit and headed north from there hoping to avoid the worst of raiders radiation and super mutants. without my stargazer i didn't want to take any risks i ended up in ronto the locals prefer toronto it is a conglomeration of small towns along a central axis the axis is a working subway they use it to move food and from farming camps to the central metropolis viaduct. I met with their leader and saw all a functioning post-war society can look like. Of course, there are those who have been banished or exiled from Ronto society, those that are ostracized joined into bands, raid the farming towns. Ronto's response has been quite violent and repressive. I can uh, appreciate how they're dealing with the problem. I headed southwest from Ronto to Detroit. What a scumhole. Most of the people there have gone feral. Not feral, ghoul feral. Wild, primitive, and useless. I had to kill a whole band of them for getting too close. Made my way to the ruins of Chicago. It was completely abandoned. The whole region is a dead zone. The beauty was surreal like a living museum. The few people I did run into in the area avoided the city at all costs. Some kind of taboo about going into the city. Interestingly, I ran into some enclaves sort who were very interested in me. Having fought them bitterly in D.C., I decided to go along with their inquiry rather than get myself in trouble. They had an eyeball that was badly damaged and thought I might be able to help. Being interested in such things, I lent a hammer and patched the thing up. We got it working again and sent it along its way. It was headed in the same direction as me, but I couldn't keep up. It seemed like it was on some sort of mission. I took I-80 across to Omaha, probably the most boring trip I've ever taken. The Midwest is so sparsely populated that I only ran wait, into... Wait, wait, was that Eddie? Oh my god, it probably was. Okay, sorry. <laughs> The Midwest is so sparsely populated that I only ran into a handful of people along the way. Most of them were friendly, though, but some of them got themselves killed for their curiosity. Omaha is a quiet town, quite peaceful, though. Though The city has a violently isolationist society based on growing maize. They have a knack for swearing, which is fine by me. I didn't stay long and made my way to Denver. Denver was overrun with feral dogs. Dog is good eating, but they're... There, the dogs think the same of you, and they roam in large packs. After the first night, I gave up on the idea of scavenging the city. At this point, I was running out of caps. I was surprised to find that everywhere I went, people traded in caps. I spent most of mine on local cuisine, water, and wine, where I could find it. Some old favorites popped up in most locales, including Brahmin steaks, cram, and mole rat meat. I learned a great recipe for cooking mole rat meat just right. With the right cut, cook for about 10 minutes at eight, 6 to 8 inches from a fire. You had a nice chop out of it. Makes otherwise food foot tasting meat quite tolerable outside of denver i heard tales of kaiser's legion occupying territory to the south they treat women like slaves down there i was told I decided to steer clear of those guys and headed west fortunately they seemed to have spread into utah as well i had to sneak for a few weeks as i worked my way west only moving at night the last thing i needed was to be caught by those archaic slavers i took i-15 south to vegas i heard the city was being restored by some mysterious patreon eventually i made it to a shack just northwest of the city right under the i-15 convenient and that's where she was murdered she mm-hmm. made it all through that just to get murdered at the end yep good job on that by the way thank you you're welcome but yeah i was i was hoping for some direction i guess where did we go do we just go back to a motorcycle where we found them at harper check i guess so maybe it'll provide some insight on all that information in the journal all right. By the way, our quest keeps pointing to our death claw <laughs> because it updated. Oh. So let's go just put on a quest that doesn't have a marker. Which one? There. Uh, 
Okay, I guess we'll go back to Harper's shack. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. We can talk to Emoti- Emotichon more? Yes. Emotichon. Stay of Utopatha, Black Mountain. Yes, we already know a lot about them because we went there. All right. Okay. Oh, wait. So, no, this is not it. Okay. Um, hmm. transmitted to Searchlight Airport. I'll meet up with you later. Searchlight Airport, maybe? Maybe, but uh, that's quite a guess, don't you think? Well, I don't know where to go. I do know there's a walkthrough I can look up to find out for sure. But, yeah, I, there was no specific thing. Maybe we go back to her shack? Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Because the, the, the note ended at the shack. So maybe let's go back to where we found her. Mm-hmm. Apparently she's trying to get a, a special gun fixed called Stargazer. Yeah. Yeah, we picked up the broken remnants of it. Ah, why is our thing messing up? There we go. Yeah. Hmm. So what do you think so far? It's really interesting, and I really like the way that they do this quest through the computer. Using the computer as a character was genius. Because, you know, most times you look at the computer, it's just a passing note about what happened in the area. You know, it's it's not... They never use it actively. Okay, so, yeah, I, we gotta look up where we're supposed to go. Okay. Okay, I looked it up and found it. Okay, cool. See, apparently the, the note did mention that she found a shack. And it wasn't that one. Oh, um, okay. And it gave us a hint of where it was with I-15. But the problem is, is we have so many more map markers than the, the base game. I had no idea which one it was referring to. Okay. This one, Field Shack. All right. Which we've been to before, but hey, maybe we missed something. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. Yep. What? Okay. A bomb? That was unexpected. Okay, let's check the corpses. Rotting corpse. Oh, we already have Lucky Shades. Whatever, well, I guess we'll get a second one. Have we been here? I don't know. Aha, this was one of the other couriers. Oh, yeah. He died. Huh. He's probably already dead, though. Fiend. Yep. <gasps> Jasmine stuffle bag. Oh. She must have just been exploring or something when she got there. Uh, really? <laughs> uh, okay. How are these computers everywhere? Like, how do they get here? I'm guessing robots. Possibly, yeah. Uh, I think that's really the only explanation. Mm-hmm. Hey, friend. About Jasmine. Come on, voice the character. I said about Jasmine. Are you going to get into your role or not? I said about Jasmine. What do you want me to say? That's what it says. About Jasmine. Okay, okay, fine. About Jasmine. Jasmine had come all this way to explore and to find the parts for her beloved Stargazer MR5. Instead, she found a gruesome end at the hands of some lowlife. How unfitting for such a great adventurer who had been through so much. Aww. 
In this capital wasteland, Jasmine was a hero and idol. Her story will be recalled for ages. She forged an identity in the crucible of war. She will be remembered there, but here, she is just another victim of the Mojave. Shortly after she arrived here, some fiends started sniffing about. She got a couple of them and left that nice little trap for the rest. That's what we hit. They forced her out of here and she had to run for her life. She had to leave most of her belongings behind. She made a run south and ended up at Wolfhorn Ranch. You know the rest of her story. Perhaps you could finish what she started and seek the components to repair her most prized possession. And that brings us to you. Yay! What will you end up? Or sorry, what what will your end be? Will you be remembered or will you die quietly with no one to tell your story? It's a little late for that. <laughs> it's up to you to write your own story. You've give, been given a second chance at life. Will you put it to good use, the courier who returned from the dead and became a legend? Does that sound good? Is if this is what you are uh, looking to uh, sorry, if this is what you are to become, I think we need to look at where the story starts. But where to begin? Who were you before you were reborn? What do you think about your dead colleague over there? Maybe that's a good place to start. Okay, about courier 2. Yep. That's one dead courier. He smells pretty bad, too. And I shouldn't even know that, not having any smell sensors and all. Yay. I, I guess the happy face is yay. I don't know. <laughs> so let's see. There were six couriers hired by Mr. House to deliver various items to the strip. Obviously, five of them were decoys. This guy got stuck with a decoy and ended up worse than you. Of course, his decision to hide in here from some fiends didn't do too much for him. So how did you end up getting the platinum chip? It cost you that little bump on your noggin, didn't it? And a shallow grave? How cliche. I bet you're mad that you traveled across the Mojave looking for answers as to why you got sucked up into this mess. Then you got embroiled in other people's problems. And still few answers. Amnesia can be a problem. <laughs> well, it just so happens that your pal Amotatron can help you. I recall you were searching for something else before you got the job to deliver the platinum chip. You may have forgotten when you got yourself shot in the head. I'm glad you're mostly better now, but perhaps you should return to the scene of the crime and try to remember something you have forgotten. Okay. So? That, that's it? That's all you're gonna say? Okay. Uh, that's, that's, I wonder what he's trying to get us to remember. This is what I was talking about the past. Apparently, this guy knows what our, our past is. Knows what we were doing right before we got this job. Yes, and that's something we don't know. Yeah, that's true. Well, I guess let's go back to the graveyard. Ulysses was one of the couriers. Was he? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, remember? He was the other courier. Well, I didn't know he was one of the six. Obviously, he went on for ages about how he, it was. Well, it was a long time ago, okay? <laughs> He's one of our friends. Oh. Hello, courier. Ironic, isn't it? I am bringing a message to the messenger. Um. What message? <laughs> My employer says that the initial harassers were just the first designed to test you. I am here to end you, to end this. I will return your head to him, and it will be mounted on the wall. A trophy to the futility of defiance. That is my message. Okay, then. Pick one. Um, can we do the... Oh, you don't want to do the taunt. Um, let's do... Just pick one. Okay, fine. Let's just care. do the first one. I'm going to rip your guts out and put them in a briefcase. Then I'll deliver it to your boss. Jesus Cristo. Die. Over here. Ha <laughs> ha. He's scared. Uh, we didn't have our weapon out. Okay, fine. Let's go search his body. Remember how... Uh, remember how we're going to be hunted now from... Uh, from... Uh, Bounty hunters, mm -hmm. occasionally. Apparently that's a thing that's still gonna happen. Yeah. That's cool. Come on, hit him. Sorry, I just did not have any of our weapons ready. Yeah. 
No. The death call's getting in the way. Yeah, whatever. So oh, yeah, yeah, these are syndicate guys. Yeah. We already I killed your boss. <laughs> Apparently you haven't heard yet. Crap, where's the body at? Uh, I can't see in the dark. I know, it's like pitch black. There he is. Alright, back to the game. Mm-hmm. So we have to go back to the graveyard, but we should go there while we can see. We've already made a name of ourselves. We're a famous bounty hunter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, just another thug. Yeah, they must have been sent with him as backup. But, yeah, let's go see what's waiting for us there. Sorry, it's just so laggy in Good Springs because so many mods. Yep. You can see the zombie house, all of Good Springs, garbage gurus. Zombie house? Yeah, it's where we got the zombie weapons. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There's that cross over there. We've been here so many times, I wonder what could be waiting for us. We must have missed something, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that hasn't appeared until now. I don't think it's that ghost. Here's our grave. Yeah. Oh, there's a duffel bag. Letter to Sarah and note to self. Were these things we were carrying? Maybe. We never saw it before, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Which one do you want to read first? Letter to Sarah. You read it. Okay. Hi, Sarah. I just got a well-paying contract to deliver some useless junk to the strip. By the time you get this, I should be on my way back to you, and I'll have a nice little surprise for you. I expect to see that robot up and running by the time I get back. You can maybe test it out by having it clean the house, or have it take down the ruined frame of the house next door so we can set up a garden. Love, your sweet prickly pear. Note to self, 200 caps for a delivery. Wow, someone must have been hit on their head pretty hard. This will help towards the cost of a violin. Sarah's always wanted a violin to play for our music sessions alongside her standard fare. I've resolved that I'm not going home until I find one for her. I've got a lead from a wandering ghoul that someone might have one in a highway utility facility near New Vegas Steel. If I can convince this character to part with it, I'll have a proposal gift. Oh yeah, and Sarah asked me to pick up some Instamash with chives. My favorite. Once we're married, Sarah and I can settle down and I can try out the farming life. This courier thing is killing me. Okay, so Sarah was our soon-to-be fiancé? That's a fiancé. Yeah. Uh, no, we hadn't proposed yet. It said we were going to get married. That means you're a fiancé. No, we hadn't proposed yet. We were saying proposal gift. So we're going to propose to her once we got the violin. Oh. Yes. Might as well have been fiancé. Okay. Wow. All right. So what do you We think? never knew about... <laughs> well, no. We had amnesia. We didn't know anything about her past from before. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my God. I can't only, believe that. We only have glimpses. We know the Project Brazil incident and the old Enclave experiment incident and, you know, robot. But that's it. That's crazy. So we, uh, Willow's not going to be happy. <laughs> hey, we already have a thing with her. She understands. She was there when we slept with Red Lucy. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> okay, well, I guess she'll be understanding now that we have a apparently a fiancé to go back to. And she'll be like, where were you all this time? She probably will be like that. Okay, well, you know, it's almost an episode, so let's just uh, let's go through our weapons. Uh, let's see if we have any new dialogue with our characters yet. Okay. What is it? Nope. We had to kill no. some guys with Boone or something. Yeah. Hello again, dear. <sighs> Nothing with you either. 
All right. These guys are probably going to take a little while. It's annoying. It's fine. All right. Um, are the death claws some, somewhere else? <laughs> okay, let's just check out the new weapons, I guess. Yep, sounds good. Well, first of all, let's just show off the weapons we got. We have this overcharged plasma katana. We have this 50 cal SMG that's really modified to a Shogo weapon. Mm -hmm. Figure we should have a bullet weapon. And we got this bullet weapon. <laughs> EOS 13. Okay. We have this uh, plasma weapon, a unique one. And look, by popular request, the Thor. Mm hmm. Bluey. <laughs> and then we already demonstrated this one. Yep. And. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We thought it would be a, it's been a while since we pulled this one out. Of course, mm -hmm. we only have one shot, so I can't demonstrate it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to waste it. Yeah, so let's check out some of the other weapons we just picked up, because we got a lot in this episode. Yeah, we did. Stargazer's broken, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Is this a curse word? What, what is this? What is that I word? don't know what it is, but oh. I wouldn't say it. Okay. Huge magazine. Wow. Huge. 126. Wow. Chopper. Yep. Fission grenades. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, don't like that. Radiation rifle. Okay, just has that sounds cool. Okay, I guess it just has radiation damage. That's cool. Yeah. Sword nine millimeter. Just a slightly powerful pistol. Disintegrator. Oh, oh, that's cool looking. Blue. I like that look. We should try it out a little bit. Yeah. All right, that's our episode. Hug Muffin, do you want to have a chat? No? Okay. He's a grown up now. Oh, that was weird. Is that our weapon? Oh, there we go. His eyes are red. Yeah, and he's got horns. He looks scary. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, yeah, um, anything else you want to say about this? Uh, I'm excited to meet our fiancé, I guess, but I wonder where she is. Uh, also, I guess I want to get a violin before we meet her. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's been a while. I don't know. Uh, actually, does it say where she is? It doesn't say where she is. It says where the violin might be. Hmm. But it doesn't say where she is. All right, I'll leave it between the episodes if we get lost. Okay. All right. So this is Super Mario Fallout. I'm Kyle. I'm Kira. Bye. Bye.